Welcome back. On this episode, we're going to learn how to install Laravel and create our first project. So beforehand, make sure you guys already have a PHP installed. If you don't have, uh, you can maybe use something called XAMPP. It's going to install Apache and MySQL for you. So again, one of the requirements of the course from the previous video was PHP and MySQL or some sort of relational database. But if you don't have it, you can use XAMPP or uh, you can use something called Laragon. They are both very good. I have personally used Laragon before, XAMPP on Windows as well. It's very easy to use. So yeah, I already have PHP installed as well as MySQL, so I'm not going to be following that here. I just wanted to quickly mention it. Uh, the main step we need to do is install Composer. So if you don't have Composer already, it's a dependency manager for PHP, and it's going to be the tool we use to install Laravel. So go ahead, open up their website or search Composer on Google. I'll have the link in the description as well. Click on download. And on the download page, there's going to be basically a section download composer with instructions to download it. Just basically go and follow it out. Uh, don't do the things on the video because the instruction may actually change over time, especially this hash may change with the latest releases. So please go ahead, open the website yourself and follow the instructions there to install it successfully on your system. Also make sure you add it to your path so you can access it globally on your terminal. After you have done that, uh, I already have, so I'm not gonna be doing it. We are ready to install Laravel. So open up the Laravel website. I'll have the link in the description. Click on the documentations on the top right. It should take you to the installation page for Laravel. So I'm just gonna scroll down and I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. You'll hit the section called your first Laravel project. And you should see a command over here. This is the command we're going to use to install Laravel. So I'm just going to copy it and move over to my terminal. So I have my terminal over here. Uh, and I have a folder created courses. So I'm just going to paste this command. Now, if you look at it, it says composer, create project, Laravel slash Laravel, and then example app. So this is the name of the application. So I'm going to replace it with our application's name, which is ideas. We are building a Twitter clone. So you can name it whatever you like, or you can use ideas as I have, and just hit enter. Now, if you have successfully installed composer on the previous step, you should be able to see basically something similar to what I have here. If you get an error, it's probably because you didn't install Composer properly. But you can ask me in the comments and I'll try to help you guys out if you have any issues. After that is done, I'm gonna do LS. And you can see there is a new uh, folder called Ideas. I think on Windows it's gonna be dear if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna actually move to that folder. So I'm gonna do CD Ideas. And you can see we have a bunch of files here. These are all the Laravel files. So you, now you can go ahead and open this in your uh, text editor. So I'm using VS Code. So I'm just going to type code dot. Uh, if you don't know how to open it with your text editor, just open it manually. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, and it's going to go ahead and open VS Code for me on over here. And you can see all the files here. We will go cover all of them on the next episode. For now, let's see how we can actually run our application. So I'm just going to go back to the documentation. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see another command called PHP Artisan. So this CD example app is what we just did. And you can see there's something called PHP Artisan serve. I'm just going to copy this. It's a command to run a local testing environment. So it's actually very easy to run it as long as you have PHP installed. So I'll just go back and I run this. And you can copy it or type it in. And Laravel will go ahead and run a local server at this address. I'm just going to copy this. Go back to my browser. Or you can just click on it. Paste it in. And you should be able to see something like this. Now, the UI might change with different versions of Laravel. But you should see something similar to this. And if you do, congratulations. You have successfully installed or created your first Laravel application. At the bottom, you can see we have... Laravel 10.15 and 8, PHP 8.2.4. That's the latest version as of now. And yeah, that's it, guys. So if you guys have any questions or any issues, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer all of your guys' questions and help you out. 
And if you get this far, you're good to go to continue on the next episode. See you guys on the next episode. Bye.